Hey everyone, it's Lance from Epics and Stuffs. And in today's video, I wanna share my thoughts of the Elegumars Pro and kinda of give a bit of a long-term review. Throughout the video, you'll see some shots of my rather manky Elegumars Pro alongside my original Elegumars Revision 1 in silver. I'll spare you my ugly mug this time around and instead I'll show you more images of the results I achieved using the Mars Pro with some of the models from my Patreon as subject matter. If you're curious on my thoughts of the original Elgu Mars, then there is a link to that video in the description below. So if you've watched that video, then you'll already know that I really love the original Elegu Mars. So I was very excited when they announced the Elegu Mars Pro to see if they've improved on any of the things which I didn't particularly like about the original. So I bought the Elegu Mars Pro in addition to the other machines that I already had, and I paid around about £260 for it which was about £40 more than the original Elegu Mars at the time. I've been using it solid for around about four months at this point, and if I was to hazard a guess, I've done somewhere in the region of around about two to 300 miniatures on it. In that time, I've yet to replace the screen. It's still going strong, touch wood. I am, however, about to replace the FEP film for the second time. So let's start with some of the similarities between the two machines. The screen remains the same, 2560 by 1440, 5.5 inch LCD masking screen. The build volume is also carried over from the original Elgu Mars, which is 120 by 68 by 155 millimeters. The 3.5 inch touchscreen also remains the same. You get an accessory kit with many of the same accessories, including scrapers, USB key, measuring cup, some nitrile gloves, instruction manual. But that's pretty much where the similarities end. Outwardly, the machines look very similar. However, there are a few subtle clues which give the Pro away. As you can see, there's a small P next to the Elegu Mars font, which denotes the Pro. You might also notice the USB port has been relocated from the back, so no more hunting behind the machine to plug in your USB keys. The acrylic lid now comes with a rubber gasket, which is detachable. And then we get to the inside. When removing the acrylic top, this is where things start to really differentiate themselves with the Pro. The vat in the Pro has seen an upgrade. They've trimmed away some of the metal, resulting in a larger volume for resin. You can now fill the vat up to the max level indicator and be confident that you're not going to overflow the system. One of the largest selling points of the Elegu Mars Pro is the particulate filter which is located in the back right of the machine. This is useful for reducing the odour that the resin can kick out as well as removing some of the harmful particulates from the air. One of the biggest issues I came across online with regards to the original Elegu Mars was that people would accidentally thread the bolts on their build plate which would mean they couldn't effectively level the machine. Now, Elegu has provided larger bolts as well as some spares. The build plate now also has a textured surface. This supposedly helps with better adhesion and allows prints to be removed a bit easier. The build plate is located in the same manner, this time on a larger, sturdier rail. Internally, we're looking at a different fan, a different stepper motor, and also a different UV array. This UV array is stronger, so technically your layers should require less exposure time, ultimately resulting in quicker prints. When turning the machine on, the UI is very similar to that of the original Elegu Mars, albeit with slightly different graphics. Functionality remains the same. There is, however, a different file format now used. These new .ctb files, when sliced in Cheetah Box, are smaller in size supposedly read quicker by the printer, resulting in less failures. So let's show you some prints. Largely, this printer is great. The quality is fantastic. Can you see a difference in quality between the original Elegu Mars and the Elegu Mars Pro? One of the models in this video was printed with the original Elegu Mars, and I challenge people to see whether or not they can identify which one it is. Post your answers in the comments below, and I'll be sure to update everyone in future. Additionally, I've shown physical models to people that have been printed on both machines and nobody's been able to tell the difference. That is not a knock against the Elegu Mars Pro. The original churns out some awesome prints and the Elegu Mars Pro does exactly the same. Some types of models actually might take better advantage of the new smoother stepper motor. If you happen to be printing something with a very large smooth surface, chances are you might find a bit of a benefit. For miniatures, however, not really the case. 
The bigger vat is a great addition, which I'm sure will help a lot of people out. Not necessarily needed in my case, but can be very handy with beginners, especially with that max level feature. The revised bolts that level the build plate are a great addition. It's now much easier and far less fiddly to deal with. The gasket that you need to install to the acrylic hood is another good addition. When installed, there is a tangible difference. Far less of the resin smell does escape from the unit. The brand new textured build plate, however, is a bit hit and miss. I never had an issue with adhesion on the original Alagumars, and I don't have a problem on this one. However, the new surface is way more scratch prone and harder to clean. The USB port on the front is another good quality of life addition. A lot of people complain about having to go around the back and hunt for the USB port. To play devil's advocate, I'd much prefer the socket on the side or to utilize something like a micro SD or an SD card, which looks a bit cleaner and more hidden. By far the worst thing for me regarding the new Elegoo Mars Pro is its new file format. It's great that it takes up less space on your USB key. It's brilliant that it actually slices quicker. However, with somebody with a catalog of CBDDLP files, it means I am required to reslice files in the new format to utilize on the Elegoo Mars Pro. It isn't backwards compatible with older file formats. To end on a high, the biggest complaint I had with the original Elegoo Mars was that just when turning the machine on, the fan was audible. So much so that I couldn't recommend the machine for somebody who was using it in like a bedroom. It got even worse when it was printing in combination with the stepper motor. Thankfully, that has been addressed. The machine is now way quieter when just idle and the new smoother stepper motor kicks out far less noise. I now have this particular machine located in my office churning out prints in the background. So should you buy an Elegant Mars Pro? Well, that depends on your current situation and a few different factors. If it's your first resin machine, then you can't really go wrong. It's one of the better units out there, especially if you're in a tight environment. It's easy to use, reliable, quiet when printing. There's a lot of resources out there and the community is great. And if space or ventilation is an issue, then you'll appreciate the gasket and the filter system. If you already have an Elegoo Mars, should you replace it with this? If your current unit is working perfectly, then I would advise no. Unless the sound or the fact that the USB port is located on the back of the original is causing you real issue, then I would just say save your money and invest in additional resin. So in summary, the Elegoo Mars Pro is a great machine, but then so was the original Elegoo Mars. Is it worth the extra 40 pounds? To some, yes. I can definitely recommend it. It's completely down to your current circumstances and as to whether or not you're working on a tight budget. Elegoo's customer support and additional products and accessories for these machines is also fantastic. I use nothing but their ABS like resin and adore their disposable vats. It makes life a hell of a lot easier if you're printing a lot of models. And that's my thoughts on the Elegoo Mars Pro. Thanks a great deal if you made it this far. A like and subscribe does go a long way. Affiliate links will be in the description below for some of the 3D printing gear I use. And if you want any of the STLs, they're available via my Patreon or my manufacturer. Again, links below. Speaking of Patreon, I just want to give a quick shout out to my current patrons. Thanks a bundle for the support. Without it, I would just be a lurker in the 3D printing community. Instead, I feel I can contribute in a much more meaningful way. So that's it from me. Thanks again. See you in the next one.